All right, here we are Tuesday afternoon on the campus of Ben Lippin, and we're with the QB who's having an unbelievable season for the Falcons here. Robert Barrow, thank you for joining us here on MidlandsHighSchoolSports.com. Uh, I was looking at your stats that your coach gave me a few minutes ago. They're mind-boggling. 117 completions and 167 attempts, just under 1,500 yards passing, 15 touches, only two picks, but this is the one. 19 yards a completion on the average, which is unheard of. Talk a little bit about you guys' offensive scheme, because I know it takes two plus the offensive line to make it happen, but how are you averaging such an astonishing uh, yardage per completion? Um, we, we've hit a couple of big plays downfield, but mostly it's just get the playmakers ball, ball and up. They've been making plays. I mean, short routes but they turn it into big games a lot of times so that's that's where that's coming from is those guys making plays now do you guys have i mean do you primarily have a short passing game or or are you being a little bit modest there i mean do you do you air it out a little bit mix it up a good bit yes sir you do yes sir well obviously you got some good receivers you're working with feel free to talk about a couple of those guys right um cole owens he's really young but he stepped up a lot this year and uh, he's been big and uh we got will carter back He's also really athletic and makes big plays and right behind him. Just goes up and gets the ball. Last week got a, a last second Hail Mary in uh, halftime with a bunch of people on him. He just he's big body, so we get him the ball a good bit. And uh, we got those like Ross Stoker and Garrison Moore to come in there, good hands. And we got a bunch of playmakers out there to catch the ball for me. Robert, being a quarterback, obviously all quarterbacks love to throw the football and have that opportunity. It must be a lot of fun playing in Coach White's offense. Yes, and I should say also Scott Jones's offense, your offensive coordinator. Yes, sir. That, uh, the new coaches have been great here. Um, we, we put new stuff in uh, every week because uh, we they came in late with the situation, but uh, we picked it up pretty fast. And it's been going going really well for us, and we uh, we got all, we're starting to get it all figured out. And I really like the offense that got us in. You mentioned the Hail Mary uh, at the end of the first half that brought you to within, within a touchdown against uh, Bishop or against uh, Porter Gow that right Bynum caught. And going talking about that game, you trailed 28 to seven. It looked like the route was on, but you did what you had to do to come back from 21 down in the second quarter to win the game by 135-34. First of all. How incredible a feeling was it when that game was over with and after being so down, you guys were the winners? Right. Uh, kind of a, I mean, it was a great feeling. It's kind of hard to describe, but um, I was just really proud of the guys because uh, in the past we may not, we may have hung our heads, but uh, last week, I mean, we stayed strong and kept fighting. And that's what I'm proud about, about our guys. Do you feel like winning a game where you had to come from come back from such adversity and being down so much on the scoreboard that uh, could maybe be like a turning point for the positive in the season that maybe you really could look back potentially and say that was the game where we really kind of saw what we were capable of doing? It could be, yes sir. And uh, but What we try to do is take it week by week. So we try to flush that and, and we watch film on it, try to improve on it, but now look forward to, to next week. Yeah, coach, coach said that he'd rather be ahead 28-7 to and right. you guys just win the game <laughs> than right. have to come back. Um, when you were down, can you honestly say, even though it was 28-7, and as Coach said, y'all are getting licked pretty good in that game at that point, if, if someone would have come up to you and said, hey, you're going to win this game, did, would you have said, yeah, we are, or, or were there some doubts at that point? Um, we still had a lot of time left, I guess, and uh, I knew we had the potential to get it done, and uh, I try not to have those thoughts. Uh, honestly, I don't remember if I even did, but uh, it was it was exciting to see him see us do that last week. You don't see a lot of teams coming from that far down, as you, you know. So that's something obviously you're proud of. Just finally, I, I know you're a very humble young man, but you're, you are. Those numbers don't lie. You're having an incredible season, and. It's got to be rewarding because obviously you put a lot of hard work in. You know, anybody does. It's got to be, even though you're a team guy, rewarding to be having some success like this after working so hard. Yes, sir. It's, it's been fun and, uh, getting those wins. That This is the first time. I mean, most wins I've had as a quarterback on varsity has been three, so I've already passed that, and that's been fun. Um, and we hope to get a lot more. we gotta, we got to take every week, week by week, because 
we can beat anybody on our schedule, but we can also be beat by anybody on our schedule. So, you know, a lot of a lot of work to do. I think I think that's a great attitude to have. Hey, man, congratulations! Really, that's a that, just looking at those numbers, really impressive. And and coach told me you've even been better than the numbers are. So I'll take his word for it. And we appreciate you taking time with us on MidlandsHighSchoolSports.com. Good luck uh, this Friday. You're at Spartanburg Christian. And by the way, you are our CC's Pizza Ben Lippin Athlete of the Week. So congratulations on that. Thank you.